Hey guys, in this video, I'll show you how to connect a PS3 controller to a PC wider and wireless 828 when running the brand new Windows 11. So now let's jump into the video. So for this tutorial, there's a few things you need. Of course, your controller, then your conveyor, and then is the cable. So this is the charger that came with the controller. So after you have all of this, now you're gonna just open up a new tab, and now you need to come to this link. So if you don't know all the time my links in my discord server so if you haven't joined my discord server it's in the pinned comment so after you come here then tap on links and this is the first link you're gonna click on so this is the link after you come here just click on yes or uh, are you saying yep so after you come here now you're gonna click on download so just click on the again button and now it will just give it a countdown so it's about five seconds so after that is done now you're gonna just click on save and now we're gonna see it will start downloading. So it's really small, so that's why it's already finished. So after that is done, now we're gonna uh, plug in our controller. So after that is done, now we're just gonna leave it. And after that, now we're just gonna open up the program, the app. So after you open up this, now we're gonna something like this. Also make sure you, you just close the uh, Google tab and also my Discord server. So after you uh, close the Google tab because it, it, it don't need it anymore, so now we're gonna see something like this. You just gonna click on I agree and now you're gonna click on next and now for this just click on install and after that is done now you're gonna click on yes again and now you're gonna see it will start downloading a, a bunch of stuff in the left you're gonna see all, all the stuff downloading so after that is done now this is the mo most important thing run driver installer so this is a driver that, that makes sure your controller is connected so make sure you click on that now you're gonna click on yes again now boom just like this now it is in the uh, dev installer make sure the dualshock 4 is off that's for the ps4 controller and now there's a, a few things you need to make sure install bluetooth driver is for if you want to connect this uh, wirelessly so if you want no cable uh, uh, that's what, it, what you need to do so make sure he, if you're choosing that make sure this is on then make sure just get a like a, a usb drive so the thing that you have so you get on a wireless keyboard and mouse so so just get that it's a really cheap on amazon and also online and also if you have all the mouse and keyboard and then it's wireless and then if you have the dongle you can use the uh, that as well so make sure if you have that make sure if you can use it you can use it but for me i'm just gonna uncheck that now we're gonna go to install a dualshock 3 driver so now you're gonna click on choose the dualshock 3 a driver and now we're gonna click on the controller warning make sure you don't click anything else in my last two videos he gets in the comment he gets said that my keyboard is not working my mouse is not working so make sure you do, don't click a, any of that so only click this position 3 controller and then it will give you a bunch of stuff but make sure it's saying position 3 controller so make sure you check only this and nothing else because once again, make sure you use PlayStation 3 controller and nothing else. So after that is done, now make sure you recheck one more time. Because if you select once again, if you select another one and it is not a controller, then that thing will stop working completely. So after that is done, now you're going to click on yes. Now you're going to bottom right, you're going to see a bunch of stuff. And now if you do this correctly, now you're going to see the your controller will be in the a PlayStation, in the a player one. So after that after that is done now you're just gonna uh, minimize it and then if i just click the position button you're gonna see that it's working absolutely fine there's no problem or anything so now i i'll just show you guys a quick demo so i'll, I'll just open a minecraft so uh, as you can see that it does work completely fine there's no problem on anything and uh, as you can see that so it does work completely fine and there's no problem on anything so also you can pause like this so uh, as, as i said it worked for 100 percent and also uh, i'm uh, obviously running the brand new windows 11 so guys if you guys enjoyed this video then uh, don't forget to smash the like button and subscribe if you're new to my channel and see you guys next time then peace out